It's clean. I don't know why the window down. Like grayish interior. Suede, uh oh. Okay, they get the AMG suede. Uh, check the engine light on though. Don't sound too bad. Nah, I don't. Oh, look at the pulley. Yeah. The pulley messed up. We Hustle Daily, what's going on Hustle Nation? Welcome back to another video. Let's get right into it, we at IAA. Let's go. So we got a couple of vehicles to check out today. Try to make this quick and see what we got. So I'm passing it, I gotta be. This is E. And I'm not seeing my car right here. It should be like somewhere right here. If that's number 20, then 20 should be right here, which I don't see it. Just wanna make sure before I keep on walking. Uh, and it is not there, so. A, B, C, D, E. So yeah, E is after D, so maybe it was supposed to be um, right here, but it is not anymore. Maybe this was the spot here. Cause I darn sure does not see it. Yeah, maybe it was right here. But uh, let's see what else. So we just gonna go ahead and skip that, I guess. Can't help that the car isn't there. This is, yeah, that's not, dang. It's like off a rim. This is not it. It was a, dang, where is it? All right. Well, all right, well, let's keep moving, I guess. All right, it was not their fault, it was my fault. I was in the wrong, I was in the wrong, uh, wrong aisle. But anyway, we got a Buick. Let me just see if it crank up. That look nice. 2003, I'm looking for some cheap stuff. I was just, dang. This is trash. Sometimes I can look up and find a good one of these, but they got the, it's all, everything gone. I mean, that's not a big deal, but it just look, you know, it's just too much going on in here, you know? So, I ain't gonna mess with that. This uh, Mercedes done caught my eye right here. It looking like it's low on the shocks though. <laughs> or should I even? Well, Mercedes is cool, but man, I still got a salty taste in my mouth from that SL uh, losing, what was that, losing, uh, yeah, it looked like this one's the same way. The air shock's messing up. It looked like, it looked like uh, this one is the same exact way. This is the SL55 AMG. Okay. It's clean. I don't know why the window down. Like grayish interior. Suede, uh oh. Okay, they get the AMG suede. Other than that, it looks like it's pretty much the same. And of course, this mug ain't got no power. Y'all already know mine. See? What's that 200 on that dash? But again, man, y'all remember when I bought my SL and a damn, it cost me $1,000 to fix that joint, man. That joint was crazy, so these done kind of got like a bad taste in my mouth, but I just wanted to come over here and and, uh, and look at this one. All right, we got a Ford. Now, it's a lot of Fords on my list today. I ain't gonna lie, but we gonna look at them anyway, even though I really don't. I haven't bought a Ford in a minute. How about y'all? I think the last Ford I bought was that must. Oh, we got power. That little last Ford I bought was that Mustang. Dang, look at the seat. Oh, does it? Hold on. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Damn, they back. Uh, all right, we're going to crank it up. We ain't going to time to play. Okay, 124 on the miles. Prior pressure, tire pressure sensors fault. Oh, dang. Let 
need a tire. Oh man. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm feeling a little jerk in here though. It's got good miles. Yeah, it's misfiring or something. I don't know what it is. You can just look at it and tell. I'm going to check it. Hold on. All right. I want to tell y'all. Misfire. Misfire, misfire. All right. So we ain't going to mess with that. A, B, C, D. Oh, let's go over here. We got a G. Yo, why have I been seeing heck of G8s lately? When I tell y'all, I keep seeing G8s. They're everywhere as far as on the streets. I'm like, man, it's like the universe is storing it in my face that I sold ones. I seen one. Matter of fact, I seen one pulling up here. When I pulled up here, I seen one. Well, right before I pulled up here. Should be one right here somewhere. Hold on. Right here, 60. Oh, right here. Hold on. Oh. Ah, man, I was just talking to somebody too, another guy. I wish I had the space, bro. Because some, like, parting out cars too. Parting out cars can be the move, man. Like, uh, selling parts off cars, infinities, and... You know what I'm saying? There's so many infinities. I be looking for parts for infinities. Here we go. I think the back is messed up on this thing. It's a 2009. You see, you see, we need a mirror. Oh, spider web. Hold on. And I see the spider actually right there. All right. Okay, so we got hit in the back. Looks like the trunk messed up. This will have to be pulled out. It's not horrible. I don't like the wheels on there. These the ugly wheels. I think these are 18s instead of the 19s. Let's see what the inside looking like. Oh, this one don't even got leather. Oh, snap. Let's see. Oh, they got a... The, uh, Mirror. Let's see what it sounds like. Is it a beast? 182. Let me see. Ah, uh, check the engine light on. Don't sound too bad. It's not hooked up, uh, souped up or nothing. There's some type of noise, right? Something going on under the hood. Oops, that's not it right here. What the heck is that? Nah, I don't. Oh, look at the pulley. The pulley messed up. Let's see what that light on for. We see the pulley, we see the light. Sound good though. Let me see what's going on with the check engine light. Got my skin. Sunroof. I don't even think mine had a sunroof, but 
this is a salvage one here. Um, yeah, let me finish checking it out. Hold on. All right, Hustle Nation, I decided to drop a low ticket course for those of you who cannot afford the full curriculum for 147. I decided to drop a course for just $19.99, where I'm going to teach you how to inspect any car, whether from a private party buyer or the auction. These skills you can use for a lifetime, and I still use these skills to this day. This is the foundation that's going to take you to a whole nother level when it comes to checking out cars. Learn all my tips and tricks on how I've been able to buy all these nice cars and make all this money. Here are some testimonials right here where you can see how I've been able to help other people in this business. So for just $19.99, click the link in the description below and I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know. All right, so 2200 on a, uh, what's that, G8, G, uh, GAGT 2800 is the current, no wait, 20, 2275, my bad. 2275, that's the current bid, pre-bid. So, yeah. They might spend some bread on it. They might not, though. I don't know. Let's see. Dang, it's stinking here. They ain't take care of this car. Let's see. Yo, they ain't got no light on, though. Uh, let me turn it down. Uh, don't sound bad though. I feel like they painted it a little bit. Let's see. It's looking a little rough. This needs to be cleaned up, but it still look rough. Let me see what the light on there say. What light is that? Ah, oh, they trying to hide it. Look. Check engine light blinking, bro. You can't do nothing with that. Got here. That I, I looked at one of these last week. I look like two of these last week. They always trash. Okay, this one got power. That's good. Mm. Got a little tick going on. 147 on a mile. Uh, yeah, yeah. Man, they got some weed right now. They got the weed. Uh-oh. Smell something. Smelling a little Sunroof open, does that go down? Because that's going to be a problem. Uh oh. Come on, man. Okay. belt or a pulley or some sort. Let me uh put my light on, check his light on on it and see what it give us. Alrighty, we got the Ford Fusion right here. 
and of course that uh i thought i was recording but i wasn't so forget it uh that uh what you call that mercedes that mug started smoking from the valve cover gasket so i'm like all right we're gonna leave that but where is it and of course this one let me see okay we got the key right here okay 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 sound good let me check this out real quick let me do a walk around for y'all for myself as well a little ford fusion this is a fusion right where well, i'm calling it a fusion yep all right let me check this out all right, we got another four fusion. Oh my God, I didn't know it looked like this. We don't even want this. Look at this. We got to go to another auction, bro. I might have to just stop coming here. I ain't got nothing here in a long time, but I still be trying to give it the benefit of the doubt because this is just one of the locations that actually let you come and preview the cars and, you know, let you start them because every it's like two IAA locations that's letting you do this. Everybody else is like, got the police like on board. Like if you crank the car up, they're putting you out. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But nah, we don't want this. All right, guys. E400. I'm all clean. Man, I'm all clean. What is it? 2015. It says total. Oh, yeah. The mug was clean. But all right, guys. I'm about to go on and get up out of here. Ain't nothing in here for me. <laughs> yeah, nothing in here for me. Go to another auction to see what we can find. I'm out of here, man. Peace. What's going on, Hustle Nation? Just want to tell you guys about this auto A stat research tool that I use to find out what's the history on all these Copart and insurance auto auction cars. It gets to tell you the auctions, how many auctions it has been to, the mileage, if the car has been staged by a dealer, as you can see. So if you would like to use this research tool, make sure you click the link in the description below.